This father of four with a restaurant to run and a family to support is now in federal custody and facing deportation over an incident that happened more than a decade ago. He said, I haven't done anything wrong. You know, I'm, I haven't committed a crime. Just the only crime I've done, he said, it's that I want to be here in the United States. Roberto Beristan's wife says she voted for Donald Trump to feel safe, but never expected this to happen. She explains he came into the country from Mexico illegally in 1998, but got the proper documentation to work and start his Indiana business. When Roberto went for his annual check-in with immigration officials, his wife says he was detained by ICE. And they said, are you Roberto's wife? And I said, yes. And they said, well, your husband has been detained due to a deportation he had 16 and a half years ago. And I told them that's a joke. And they said, no, it's true. In 2000, the couple accidentally wound up in Canada on their drive to Niagara Falls. Roberto was arrested when Border Patrol learned he was in the country illegally. After posting bail, he was told to voluntarily leave the U.S. within a month. But his wife was pregnant at the time, so he stayed in America. ICE officials said in a statement that when he failed to depart the United States by that time as required, his voluntary departure order was reverted to a final order of removal. Now his family is forced to take on the business until he can return home to the place he loves. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Lee Sheps.